Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Helen. And we are the Presentation Maestro. Have you ever noticed how often, both in our personal and our business lives, we do things because they've always been done that way, or because everybody else does them? And sometimes that's a very wise thing to do, and a useful thing to do, but sometimes it isn't a useful thing to do. For example, if you're going to a concert or a football match or something by public transport, because most people do, and if you haven't been before, you probably think it's a useful thing to follow the crowd because they seem to know where they're going. Yeah, it's, it's like, OK, sorry, a couple, couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to get t tickets for the Olympics. Uh, a couple of days going there. The first day, I didn't have a clue where the Olympic Park was, so I did what everybody does, and I followed the des designated route, got off the tube, and followed the crowds, and I was crushed, and it was a really a nightmare. awful nightmare journey. It was unpleasant, and it took forever to get there, and I didn't like it. That's so on the, on the second day, I decided to do a little bit of research, as she I do. Does. <laughs> so I found another uh, tube stop. And I got off at that tube stop and followed the route that I'd sorted out. And it was absolutely amazing. There was nobody there. It was a little bit frightening to start with. It's kind of, am I going the right direction? Yeah. But I got there and it was really pleasant because there was nobody around. And it was so much faster. And I got to the destination. And it can be, it can be the same thing with, with presentations, really. Okay, saying that word presentation, having worked in the corporate sphere... I can guarantee that 90% of people watching this will have thought the exact th same thing as soon as they heard that word, won't they, DM? Yeah. <laughs> um, having worked uh, for over 30 years in organisations, helping them with their presenting, that one thing they think of that Helen mentioned, and the first thing they think of are the slides, the deck. Yes, it's true. And and you, you, you do it, don't you? You... you Immediately, you've got a presentation to give. You reach for your laptop or your MacBook or your desktop and PowerPoint or Keynote or Prezi or your favourite presentation software. And, and, and we, you start organising. We get that. Uh, everybody needs a way of preparing. And that's probably the way you're using it at the moment. And it works. There's no right or wrong about this. It works. It does work. But it's not always the most helpful mm. or the easiest or the fastest route. And yeah. to be honest, one of the things that can happen is, is that, well... When you're, when, you're, you, when you're designing your slides, you cannot keep up with your thought processes. The, mm. the finger movements and the things that you mm. actually have to play around with cannot keep up with your thought processes. And the result of that is that you can go off tangent. So you start with this slide here and suddenly you've got that and that and that and that. Yeah. And eventually you are miles away from where you thought you would be when you first started preparing the presentation. Yeah. Okay, think of it this way. If you're going on a journey, uh, going on a long journey, and you're getting in the car, you don't just start driving, do you, DM? Well, some people do, um, but what I do is I stick my destination into the sat-nav. Now, it's a bit of a cheesy old analogy, but it's actually, it actually works in this case. And the destination in terms of your presentation, your destination, is your message, your purpose. In other words, what you want your client or your audience to think or do or feel as a result of listening to you. That's the first thing to nail, and most people never do. The second thing to get together are your thoughts and facts to support that message. And thirdly, and last of all, definitely last of all, you create the slides that support the supporting material and your message. That's the order to do it. Yeah, so it's slides last not first. And then you'll get to your destination more effectively and more importantly, so will your audience. And then enjoy the ride along the way.